Today I'm going to show you some assembly tips and tricks for you new owners out there or anyone who's thinking of getting a Tuk Tuk boarding kayak. The first thing you have to know is that when you get a new Tuk Tuk boarding kayak, everything is going to be really stiff. So it's going to be very difficult to fold. The first tip is try and leave it out in somewhere warm and flat like the way I have right now. What that does is that the heat will soften the plastic so it makes it easier to fold. But if you're in a cold area, you might want to try and do this indoors if you have the space. Another tip is if you're indoors, it's great to have a hairdryer to soften the plastic so that it's easier to fold. So when you start the folding process, you have to start from the bow on the stern. And this is quite a tricky area if you haven't done it before. I've done this fold a million times, so I've kind of figured out the best way to do it. So as you can already see, I have the folding kayak on my legs right now like this. Just be careful of the edges because it can get quite sharp if you get the angle wrong. So I use the leg as leverage. The first bit is that you have to get this V and you can use this clamp if you want to. I generally don't use it because I don't have an issue folding, but some people might. So if that helps you and assists you to fold, then go for it. Okay, so I have this on my leg. I have this V and I'll pull this across. Now with my left hand, I'll be holding it with one finger. So I will pull one way like this and then I will have my leg helping me to also push as well as my hand doing the same thing, pushing. So I have support from my hand, my leg, and my other hand. Okay. So once you're in there, push it down and then you clamp. It'll be exactly the same for the other side. I would say this is probably the most challenging part of the kayak. And don't forget you have four of these, so it does become harder as you start clamping all of them. So what I tend to do is that I put my fingers behind like this and pull it across. So I have more leverage by having more surface area holding onto this piece to pull it across. So, but once I get over here to this side, then I'll be pushing. So it's a pull and a push, okay? During this process, some people have issues like this. The trick to this is that you don't just pull, you pull and push down at the same time. If you're finding this process very difficult, I would use a hairdryer to soften the plastic here a little so it helps you fold easier. Another tip for safety is to release this buckle slowly. The reason is if you release it quickly, it can pop out and cut your fingers. And when you're paddling, your hands are wet and your skin is softer and prone to cuts. And I have done that a few times. So just be careful and release it slowly by pushing down here with your thumb and slowly releasing it and supporting it to open. The next tip is to make sure you have the rubber strap around the foam correctly. This is very important because it can put pressure on the Tuk Tuk folding kayak in a way that's not supposed to. Now what you see in front of you is the correct way of putting the rubber strap over here, over the buckle and over the pin. So when you're sitting in the middle of the kayak, you are pushing the kayak down with your weight. Now you want to have this directly pointing straight up and straight down so that the force is balancing your weight. Now the incorrect way, which I've seen a lot of people do, is put it here. This clamp here was placed here by Tuktek for future projects that they may have coming and hopefully it's going to be a spray skirt. Now what could potentially happen is that because the force is going on a different angle where it's not supposed to, it could potentially buckle and I have seen some previous kayaks that had that issue. So please make sure you have your strap around here so that the force will balance itself out. The next tip is regarding the seat. As you can see at the bottom of the phone seat, there are four hooks here to hook onto here, 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 and here. So people automatically think you need to use all four hooks for it to be secure. Now me, on the other hand, I only use two of these and I put it at the back. And 
One of the reasons why I do that is that I have more leg room to play with, so that's more comfortable for me. I am about six foot one. And another reason is that you'll have stronger back support from the seat. And I'll show you what I mean. Now you might find that the hooks don't hook up to the bars very well. And that's because you're assembling it on flat ground. But once you're in the water, your weight will push the kayak and it will bend a little bit and will provide some space for the hook to secure into the bar properly. Now that it's all strapped up, you can see it's very, very firm and very tight. And that's how I'd like to have the back support to be very, very secure. Now, let me do it the other way where the seat is on all four hooks. And now you can see, once I put the seat forward where it latches all four hooks onto the bar, the seat just folds backwards a little bit like this. So it doesn't give that much back support. So that's why I like to push it on the second bar to give myself a bit more support. Once you have it all folded up, I would leave it like this for one or two days. So it just gets the fold in there to make it easier for you to fold when you're out next time. But don't forget, the next few times is still going to be stiff. The more you use it, the easier it becomes. These side foams are really easy to lose because they're very light and you can't hear it when it comes out of the folded kayak. One way around this is to wrap this around the paddle. That way, when you do drop the paddle, you're more likely to hear it. If you have any other questions, please leave your questions in the comments below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Music